Hey folks, in case you missed it, a busy weekend in SU sports. On Saturday, basketball fell to Georgetown 79-72 in Mike Hopkins' first game as head coach. The men's soccer team fared much better. The Orange took down Boston College 1-0 in the Elite Eight. That means Syracuse is in the Final Four for the first time in program history. SU takes on Clemson in the College Cup this Friday in Kansas City. But the big news on the Hill this Monday is that Syracuse officially has a new head football coach. Former Bowling Green head man Dino Babers was introduced as the Orange's 30th head coach today, and he got right to it, painting a vision for the program. You have a defense that is relentless. You have a special team that has been well coached. You have an offense that will not huddle, and you have a game that's faster than you've ever seen on turf. Babers well, certainly has the resume to back up that speed claim. This year, Bowling Green led the MAC in total offense and route to its second straight conference title under Babers. To the pros, it seems like every few years, Tom Coughlin is back on that hot seat. The two-time Super Bowl champion Syracuse grad led the five and six Giants against the six and five Jets, trying to snap a two-game losing streak. And this seemed like the time for Big Blue to get back on track, considering the Giants haven't lost to the Jets since 1993. Coughlin himself is 2-0 against New York's AFC team. In the second quarter, Eli Manning finds Odell Beckham Jr., a 72-yard pitch and catch. The touchdown for OBJ, his only of the game. He had six catches and 149 yards in the contest. The G-Men led 17-10 at halftime. But late in the fourth quarter, the Jets with a two-minute drill that ends with a Ryan Fitzpatrick to Brandon Marshall touchdown. 10 TDs this year for Marshall. The Jets tie it at 20 and send the game into overtime. Eli not happy in the extra frame. Randy Bullock cut by Houston earlier this year, but hasn't missed as a Jet. That continues 23-20 for Gang Green. Later on, Josh Brown from 48 tries to tie it, but he misses wide left, and the Jets take down the Giants. That means New York's AFC team 7-5. The Bills had to keep pace. In the wild card race, they hosted Houston at the Ralph, and thanks to Tyrod Taylor, Buffalo won. Taylor tossed three touchdowns and zero interceptions in the 30-21 victory. The Virginia Tech product found Sammy Watkins, Charles Clay, and Robert Woods for scores. So, if the season ended today, the Jets and the Chiefs would be the two wild card teams. The Steelers and Bills would be on the outside looking in. But good news for Buffalo. Four games left this season. The first three are against NFC East teams. Meanwhile, the Jets face the Titans, Cowboys, and Patriots. Then comes the season finale, which pits the Bills against the Jets in Orchard Park on January 3rd. A possible wild card berth could be on the line in Week 17. That's all for sports. I'm Varun Raghupathy, Lauren and Tyler. Back to you.